Well, it's been in the news a lot, and it is an emotional and controversial subject. A Utah wife and mother is one of many active members of the LDS Church who struggles with same-sex attraction. Yeah, Christina Flores here with more on the story of one woman who's caught in the middle between her faith and her sexuality. Christina? She's in a very difficult position, and she is very brave to talk to us tonight. This woman is a mother. She is a wife, and she's also a member of the Mormon faith in good standing. Although she is attracted to women and has had relationships with other women, she has decided to repress her sexual urges and stay true to her faith. Tonight, she asked us not to identify her to protect her young children. I am an LDS mother, a wife, and I struggle from same-sex attraction. Misty is like thousands of members of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. She is an active Mormon and is attracted to people of her same sex. I know that there are many people in the LDS faith that struggle with same-sex attraction. Evergreen International, a group whose mission is to help Mormons overcome same-sex attraction, reports there are four or five members in each ward that are attracted to people of the same sex. It says about half of those people are married with children. I love my husband. I love my kids. I love the family. Misty was raised in a Mormon home. She was married in the Salt Lake City Temple 13 years ago. I am being true to myself because to me, my religion is what I want. The LDS Church has firmly stated its belief that homosexual acts are wrong. This was reiterated by Elder Boyd K. Packer at last October's LDS General Conference. Some suppose that they were preset and cannot overcome what they feel are inborn tendencies toward the impure and the unnatural. Not so. That statement sparked outrage in the gay community. He claimed that it could be changed and then went on to characterize same-sex marriage as unnatural as well. I fully believe that marriage is between a man and a woman. I don't think that people are born gay. I think that they are born with the tendencies to be gay. It's like drinking or smoking. Misty says she has been attracted to women since middle school. Then I met someone that I became really close with. And, and she has been unfaithful in her marriage. And I actually did have a relationship with her. A few years ago, Misty told her husband she was thinking of leaving him for the woman she was involved with. My husband was really good and he, uh, he wanted to stay with me and he helped me try to decipher my feelings and figure out what was going on. After much contemplation, Misty turned to her LDS church leaders for help. And the church was one of the largest advocates for me in trying to help me decide or figure out who I was and what I wanted in life. She went through a church disciplinary process because of her affair. They never excommunicated me. They never forced me to change. It was it was, if you want to change, here's the help that we can provide. Misty believes in Mormon teachings and is committed to live by them, even though her feelings clash with those beliefs. That everyone has struggles. That everyone has feelings that aren't in accordance with the church. It doesn't mean I'm a bad person. It doesn't mean that I'm going to hell. In fact, Misty believes that trials are a part of life. Having feelings for other women is hers. You know, I, I, I strongly believe that we're all given temptations and things that we need to not fall into it. She wants others like her to know they are not alone. And they are confused and they don't want to talk about it because it's so hush-hush. Misty admits she still struggles with same-sex attraction, but says she now has the strength to not act on those feelings. But know that I will always struggle with that, with wanting to be with a woman. I, I don't think that I will overcome it. We're human and you're able to come to peace with it. Misty says that she will tell her children about her same-sex attraction and her choice to remain a member of the LDS Church when she feels they are old enough to understand all of this. There are a lot of people like Misty in the LDS mm -hmm. Church, but there are also a lot of people who have made the painful decision in a lot of cases to leave the LDS Church to live an openly gay or lesbian lifestyle, right? That's true. A lot of people say, I want to embrace my sexual orientation or my sexuality, but they don't feel they can be a Mormon at the same time. And that is the other side of the story. In fact, tomorrow night, we will talk to a Utah man who was married in the LDS temple, had children, and remained married for years. But he later divorced his wife, left the LDS church, and is now in a committed relationship with another man. The 
there's nothing better than the feeling of being truly who you are and embracing yourself and loving yourself. So definitely an emotional issue that impacts a lot of families here in Utah, and we're going to have another story on this very subject tomorrow right here on 2 News at 10. Mm -hmm. Interesting to see the two sides, too. The side of somebody who's dealing with the problem within the parameters right. of the church and those who have decided to leave the church and deal with the problem on their own. So. Right, and we think it's important to present both sides. Absolutely. So we'll do that. All right, Christina, very insightful report. Thank you. Mm -hmm.